If launching a successful Amazon PPC campaign sounds like doing rocket science, don't worry. I'm going to show you an easy five-step strategy to properly setting up your sponsored products ad campaigns so you can increase your ad sales potential. I'll even show you a brand new strategy on how to create sponsored products ad campaigns that can generate a 29% increase in your ad sales with just one click. So with that said, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, in order for you to create and run PPC campaigns, you need to have a professional seller account. That's the one where you're paying $39.99 a month. So if you're on the individual plan, you'll need to upgrade. Then head over to Amazon Ads Console in Seller Central and choose Sponsored Products. Now, before we get started, when it comes to PPC advertising, what I highly recommend everyone do is always stay organized. PPC involves a ton of data and can span across several or dozens of PPC campaigns and things can get confusing and disorganized extremely fast. So avoid this problem by giving your campaign a descriptive name. The more descriptive, the better. Name the campaign something descriptive so you can always recognize what each campaign is for in the future. You'll be glad that you did. And with that said, the first step is choosing which products to include in the campaign. Depending on the strategy, the campaign may just be for one ASIN or it might contain several. The products you choose to include determine how to structure the campaign and how much you can expect to receive as a return on your investment in your ad spend. It's important to think about your ASINs strategically. For example, what are your advertising goals? If your goal is to increase awareness of your products, then what you should do is advertise your newly launched ASINs. These are products launched within the last 90 days. Generating engagement at the beginning of a product's launch can help drive traffic and more importantly, reviews. Now, if your goal is to build your brand, you should advertise products marked with the brand building label. These are labels in the ASIN picker here. These labels can be extremely helpful because they can help you identify products in your catalog that you should focus your advertising efforts on. If you have products with a brand building label, what that means is shoppers who view or purchase these products are more likely to purchase other products in your brand's catalog, visit your store, or search for your brand. Now, if your primary goal with advertising is to increase sales, you have several strategic options. One, you can group your similar products into the same campaigns, such as if you have variations of a similar product, or group your products by a common theme, such as cooking, crafts, or home repair. Grouping similar products can help save you time in the long term while also improving the efficiency of your campaign management. Two, you can advertise your seasonal shopping events, such as back to school, Mother's Day, Black Friday, or the holidays. A powerful new tool you can use to help you choose products to include in your campaign is Amazon's forecasted demand label. Amazon uses historical click trend data to identify periods of high demand for your product categories. And if you have products in categories that are forecasted to be in demand in the next four week period, you can see the new forecasted demand label next to your product in the ASIN picker like you can see here. Products advertised in the weeks where their product type historically has high engagement generates on average 32% more sales. Three, you can include products in your campaign that have the benchmarking label. These products sales trend or conversion rate is low compared to similar products in the same category. So advertising them can help drive sales. Or four, you can add products with a trending label to your campaigns. Products in this category are currently experiencing an increase in engagement. So advertising them can help engage customers with products that they are looking for and help increase sales. Another powerful way to choose which products to advertise is with Amazon's suggested products. You can see your suggested products by clicking on the suggested tab here. You can also find suggested products in the ASIN picker that have the suggested label like you can see here. Suggested products are science-backed recommendations from Amazon on which of your products have the highest chance of being clicked on if advertised with sponsored products. Adding these ASINs to your campaigns can help increase the chance of a shopper engaging with your advertised products and boost your ad retributed sales. In fact, Suggested products are 321 times more likely to generate ad retributed sales when advertised compared to products that are not suggested. And a final tip on product selection, set up your products for success by reviewing your product's detailed pages. Before including a product in a PPC campaign and spending money advertising it, make sure you have a high quality product detail page. 
By having a fully optimized listing, you can improve your chance of making an ad attributed sale and improve your ROI on your ad spend. And don't just update the listing page and forget it. Continually audit your product's detail page to check for opportunities to optimize and improve it. See what your competitors are doing and look for new and better ways to improve your listing so you can help boost your chance of succeeding when advertising. This includes making sure you have a strong title and help customers find your products and your brand by including at least three bullet points, including relevant keyword search terms, and always include at least four or more high quality zoomable images. Now, once you've chosen which products you want to advertise, let's move on to step two, targeting. First, you can choose from two options, either automatic targeting or manual targeting. Automatic targeting is the easiest to get started with since Amazon does all of the work for you. Amazon will match your ads to keywords and products for you, thereby saving you time and providing you with important insights to help you with future campaigns, such as keywords that you may want to use for manual targeting. Now, manual targeting is where you can specify a list of keywords or products that you want to bid on and advertise. This is where you would do all of the research to identify which keywords or products to advertise. You can see here it says, Choose keywords or products to target shoppers' searches and set custom bids. Now, depending on which option you choose, you'll have different options like you can see here. For example, with automatic targeting, you can set a default bid or set bids by targeting group. Or if you choose manual targeting, you can select from keyword targeting or product targeting. Keyword targeting is where you can specify which keywords you want to advertise and bid on, whereas product targeting, you can choose which products categories or brands you want to advertise and bid on. For example, if you choose keyword targeting, you can enter a list of keywords here and adjust the bids for each keyword as you see fit. You can also enter a list of negative keywords here. Negative keywords are keywords that if searched by shoppers, you specifically do not want to advertise your products on. This can drastically help you cut down on your ad spend by preventing ads from appearing in searches that are unrelated to your product. Now, regardless of which option you choose, you can set a default bid or custom bids for each individual keyword. You can set bids because Amazon's PPC advertising system is basically a real-time auction. Whoever has the highest bid for a specific keyword gets the best ad placement. This, of course, is the top of the search results on the very first page. The second highest bidder gets the next best spot and so on. Amazon actually provides you with bid suggestions based on a group of recent winning bids for ads that are similar to yours to help you bid more effectively like you can see here. Now, if you want to learn exactly how to set all of this up, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below. And don't worry, if all of this seems too difficult or confusing to you, I'm going to show you a new strategy to creating campaigns with just one click that can boost your ad sales by as much as 29% later on in the video. Now, speaking of bids, the next step is setting up your bidding strategy. In this section, you have three options to choose from. Dynamic bids up and down, dynamic bids down only, and fixed bids. Now, it's crucial that you set this part up correctly as it directly affects your ad performance. Now, I actually suggest using dynamic bids up and down, especially if you're launching a new product because during a product launch, you want your ads to be prominently displayed at the top of the search results. By choosing bids up and down, Amazon will help you win the top of search ad spot by automatically adjusting your bids aggressively in order to outcompete your competitors. You can actually boost your chances of winning the top of the search ad spot by increasing your bid specifically for the top of search ad spot here. And step four, if you're ready to advertise right away, then set the start date to the current date and I recommend leaving the end date to no end date. This way the campaign will run indefinitely until you decide to stop it. In some cases, however, such as if you're advertising for a special event like Mother's Day or Black Friday, then setting a specific start and end date can be helpful. And for the campaign name, just copy and paste the name you entered at the top. And now step five, the daily budget. This is where you can set a daily limit to spend on each campaign. By setting a daily budget, this makes sure your ad will run throughout the day and Amazon will never spend more than your set daily budget. Amazon recommends setting a daily budget, but I actually have a different strategy here that I go over in a dedicated PPC video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And now with all of this set up, you're ready to launch your new sponsored product campaign by clicking on launch campaign. But hold on, 
What if I told you there was an easier way to set up your new sponsored product ad campaigns with just one click and can actually increase your ad attributed sales by 29%? Well, you can. You can actually let Amazon create the ad campaign for you with preset campaigns. Preset campaigns are campaigns built specifically for you and can be launched in just one click. These campaigns pair your products with the best budget, keywords, and bids to help drive sales. In fact, advertisers who created a new sponsored products campaign using preset recommendations saw 29% more ad retributed sales on average over one month compared to similar advertisers who did not create a campaign with preset recommendations. So if you would rather skip all of the detailed campaign setup that I just went through earlier, you can find preset campaigns in the Amazon Ads Console and under the campaign type selection, look for this section with your preset campaigns. In this section, you can find product recommendations and ready to launch campaigns tailored just for you. Here, you'll find a list of eligible products that are good candidates for advertising based on their sales potential and receive all of the preset campaign settings for those products. These pre-populated settings are based on historical campaigns with similar products and are tailored to the products being advertised. You'll also receive estimated performance information such as clicks and conversions like you can see here. Pretty cool, right? Now for Amazon's full list of sponsored products best practices or how to set up PPC campaigns for a new product launch, click right over here or check the link in the description below.